Hi and welcome. In this video today, what I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to show you the basics of how Victron schedule charging can work. So this is more designed for an ESS customer, which is designed to be used for someone that's grid connected. So if you've got the grid available there, you can use this feature here to really do some smart stuff when it comes to keeping your batteries charged and actually buying and selling energy from the grid at a low cost price. So you can buy low or make sure that you're going to have battery storage available for you at those times when the energy prices are a peak. Around the world, most consumers right now, they just pay a fee. It's a flat fee and there's an off peak and an on peak. If you want to see what's going to happen with the future of energy and how it works all around the world, Australia is a really good leader in that situation here. A lot of companies test their products here in Australia first because the numbers just work from a financial point of view in Australia. Our prices are cheap enough that batteries make sense and also the energy prices are expensive enough to make it work and things like that. So there's a lot of cool things that have been happening in Australia with smarts of energy prices to buy and sell high and if it's not available in your country just yet around the world it's going to happen and it's coming and if you are based in Australia there's some really good programs at the moment you can get access to. If you check out getlocalvolts.com it's a peer-to-peer -peer solar program where you can actually sell your excess solar or you can actually sell your stored energy from your batteries and the prices go through the roof. So there's lots of fun stuff out there in this industry that's coming around right now. So let's get into it. We're going to get in and I'm going to show you the scheduled charging and how it all works and how I use it in my house. Okay, so you want to be standing in front of your color screen or logged in and I'm going to show you how all this works. So you come into the menu in here. Go down to our settings. We want to come down and find ESS. Now, if you don't have ESS on your system, it's likely you could be an older system, you could be off-grid. Off-grid ESS is not recommended, not recommended to be used. And if you really want to understand and more depth of some of the stuff I'm going to skip over here, we actually do have a, our solar course. So we have a Victron course, which is dedicated. If you're in the States at the moment, it's almost half price with the, with the way the dollar is. <laughs> This course in here, we're going to all the depth and the details of how the Victron programming works and all the things you can and can't do with programming your inverter, with all your color screens, your Serbo GX and things like that, and all, a lot of the smarts. There'll be a link in the description below to the offgridtribe.com if you really want to get a knowingness of Victron and how it works, all the ins and outs, we've got that course down there, so you'll be able to check it out. There's a few different modes in here with ESS, but today we're just going to be talking about the schedule charging. You see we've got peak shaving and all this sort of stuff available now, which is pretty exciting new features has come out. So schedule charge levels. Now you've got a lot of different options here. We'll come in here. You just come in and actually enable it. So I've actually got one on the weekends and I'll explain the reason that I use this here for the weekends. So for here in Australia in the weekends for us, we actually get paid between 10 and two o'clock most of the times on the weekends. Energy is free when it's a really good day energy is actually free or you actually get paid to use it coming into winter now is when i'm shooting this video here in australia the prices are going to go up with winter because we just don't have that excess amount of power like that we do in summer uh, during the middle of the day and the weekends when the weather's really good so how i use this here is because the energy prices are really cheap on the weekends during the day i have a scheduled charge to make sure that my batteries get charged on those prices and i'll monitor this so literally every weekend doesn't matter, rain, hail or shine, my system will turn on and make sure that my batteries get charged. So it starts in, at 9.30 in the morning and it runs for seven hours and it will run till it gets to 100%. So that just happens on the weekends. So we'll pop back over here. And what that basically does is that of a day, because it's set to 100%, we never use any energy from our batteries. It'll get charged to 100% and be kept at that 100% and it will not discharge. And I've worked out those hours for me in my area and how it works is that when the energy prices get expensive, about half an hour before that, the system's gone back to batteries and we make sure that we're of those afternoons on the weekend when the energy prices jump up, when everyone gets home, turns the air conditioners on, for, for winter for heating, cooling, all those sort of high demand energy happens. And that's when we go back to living on batteries. Now the second scheduled charge, this will give you more the in-depth understanding and the power of how this tool can work. So on weekdays, what I do for us, where we live, we're really trees, shaded, we lose a lot of production. Give you an example, our solar system goes from about producing up 150 kilowatt hours a day in summer, that it drops down to the middle of winter, we produce about 50 kilowatt hours. And this will be our first year where the council have actually cut a few trees down behind our house. This will be the first year where we actually have a bit of sun on our house and we'll get to see what it does this winter. It'd be really exciting to see in June what the system actually produces that worst time of year for us. Now if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, 
the you know you're going to have that june july is going to be your best production time of year for us it's the opposite down the southern hemisphere where we actually get our worst production of the years okay so how i use this here in my house i have it set for weekdays at 4 a.m in the morning the system comes on it charges batteries and it does it for two hours and 15 minutes now the reason i put the time frame the whole intention with the time is about quarter past six so just think about like this what time is it that most people are going to start turning appliances on and because it's been cold recently, the prices in the morning have actually gone through the roof. Now, I'll give you an example, in summer, early in the morning, we're paying like 12, 13 cents a kilowatt hour here in Australia. And the last few mornings have been about 66 cents a kilowatt hour. So sort of like five or six times the price in winter because it's cold and people are using a lot more energy. That's how the future of energy, how you're gonna get charged when you're sitting at home, is you're gonna get charged peak demands and they're just rolling out all these new smart meters. So, and the smart meters are more about just to be able to see what time people are using energy. So if you're someone that can actually take advantage and use energy of a day when solar's cheap, in the future, it's already currently happening here in Australia where you can get paid to use energy when energy is cheap. So think about it like that. Renewable energies are gonna drive the cost of energy down in the middle of the day. There's no two ways about that. that's what's gonna happen. The prices are gonna go up in those peak periods. So what that means for the retailers or someone charging you, they need to average out the price. So it's actually gonna drive the prices up because they need to go, well, if in those peak demand times, we need to make sure we're covering our costs because in the middle of the day, we're not making any money or not charging and things like that. So if you're someone that's just on pretty much the flat rates that you're off peak, you peak, and that's it, maybe some shoulder, you are gonna pay more for your energy than someone that's on the five minute market here in Australia is how it works, that the pr price changes every five minutes, you're gonna be able to get more advantage to it. And that's why a battery could be more beneficial of a day when it's really cheap and free. You can charge your batteries, do it, all the stuff you can do of a day, and then you've only got that peak period of a night to worry about. Just have a small battery in to get you through those short windows. So the reason that two around 15 minutes is so that it comes on, it stays on until quarter past six in the morning because everyone's gonna start jumping on about then or a little bit after that and the prices are gonna go through the roof. And so that's when our batteries start to discharge. And I've only left it at 40% because what I don't want to do, I don't want to buy all this energy from the grid, charge my batteries up, and then when the sun comes out, the energy's got nowhere to go. In this situation, what'll happen, you know, I may have brought it for 12 or 13 cents overnight to top the batteries up. If I had the batteries full, sun comes out, it can't send it to my batteries, so it's gonna sell it to the grid for two, three, four cents. So it just doesn't actually make sense from a financial point of view. So I only topped the batteries up to 40% because it's just enough to get me through to when the sun comes up. And this is what I love about the Victron stuff. It's just so programmable and you can get in and do it yourself. And this is gonna change for me because the sun's gonna come up that little bit later. I'm gonna need more batteries. So I'm gonna play around with this over the next couple of weeks and months and I'll watch this because I'm gonna maybe require to put up to 50% because right now, sort of about 7.30 in the morning, my solar's actually starting to produce and it's really starting to help me out and I'm really not doing stuff from batteries, so it's running the load of the house. It's not charging the batteries, but it's just supporting the load of the house. And what's gonna happen over the next few months is, you know, rather than at 7.30, it's probably till about 8.30, 9 o'clock because the trees behind our house, the way it works, I'm still gonna be living on batteries. So we're probably gonna wanna charge a little bit more and change that to 50 or 60% of battery capacity we're gonna require. And the whole idea of that there is I'm buying energy at 10 to 12 cents is pretty much what the average prices are of today. And that is in May, 2023. If I'm buying energy from the grid, I'm paying say 10 to 15 cents per kilowatt hour what I'm buying it for. And in the morning, it's been somewhere between 40 to 60 cents a kilowatt hour in those peak times. And that's my whole intention of using this scheduled charge. It's helped protect us. We're charging at 10 cents rather than later on paying 30 to 60 cents between those peak periods. That's what it's really powerful for. There is so much more to the Victron products. And that's what I love about the Victron products. There's a huge big community out there that can help everyone and educate it. A lot of the other manufacturers and suppliers out there want to own you and tell you what you can and can't do. And if you want to make some changes, you need to contact them, contact your installer, all that sort of stuff. That's been my biggest passion driver over the years with Victron. It allows you to do what you want to do and you can have the ability to change that. And you're in control of your system. You don't need to call someone else and ask permission and things like that. If you really want to know more about the Victron products and all the ins and outs, I've personally been playing around with this stuff for over a decade now, and this is my favorite part, what I love about the Victron gear. All the smarts, the things that you can and can't do with them, and all those automations is what really drives me. The way of the future, the way energy is going, this is the sort of stuff you really want in your home, is that control to be able to play around with things, because energy prices are going to change, where when there's loads of renewables, they'll be giving it away for free, but when there's not, that's when you're going to be charged an absolute fortune. 
So thank you, and until next time, stay energized.